What's going on, y'all? It's Devin, and I'm back! Today we're going to be playing ARMS on the Nintendo Switch, and I'm really excited for this. Uh, this game was just released on June 16th, last Friday. Uh, the game is uh, developed and published by Nintendo itself, so it's a first-party game on the Nintendo Switch, and one that's uh, been really hyped up and I'm really looking forward to. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this game. It's kind of hit or miss. It's a new style of fighting game. Um, it's in a three-dimensional arena using the uh, motion controls or the pro controller. I'm going to show you both ways to play today. Uh, first, we're going to be playing with the uh, new yellow Joy-Cons. We're going to be playing with the motion control so that's going to be pretty cool so let's hop into this i'm excited it's a pretty fun game the controls are pretty hard to master so i'm going to be playing on easier difficulties because i'm just getting into this and getting used to it um it's a pretty tough game so i'm gonna to have to spend a lot more time with it to get used to it but to be honest with you it's a lot of fun and uh, i wasn't sure how i was going to feel about it at first so yeah so we're going to hold these like this so you want to kind of have your uh, your fist in a neutral grip because if you're tilting this way, you're going to be blocking. If you're uh, moving left or right, that's going to control your movement. And then, of course, you're going to be bah, bah, punched people. So let's do this. Yeah. This game's really fun. I'm excited to share this with you guys. All right. Boom. One of the things that's fun about this game, it's very brightly colored. Everything's kind of like neon yellow, pink, green, blue. Uh, just nice flashy colors. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just actually going to hop into some party matches here. So you've got a Grand Prix, which is kind of like your one player versus mode. You're just kind of playing against the computer. You have 10 fights to become champion, as it says. Uh, versus match is going to be like one or two players. You can play up to four players with your friends, either online or um, in a, a co-op local setting, that kind of thing. And then the party match. So the party match, you're going to be playing and fighting online for fun. You can do that with one or two players. So you can have a team of two players co-op at home while you're playing against two other people online. Or you can go for the ultimate challenge, which is the ranked match. So I'm nowhere near ready to compete in any ranked online matches. So we're just going to go party match. And I'm going to show you some of the cool online modes because uh, this actually has a really bolstered online community so far. I'm pretty stoked. All right, so let me show you how this works. So you got Spring Man. You got Ribbon Girl. Got Ninjara, Master Mummy, Min Min, Mechanica, Twin Tell, Bite and Bark, Kid Cobra, and Helix so far. And there's an unlockable character I haven't unlocked yet. So these are the characters that you have to choose from. Um, like any other fighting game, you're just going to kind of pick who you choose. Alright, so we're hopping right into this. Boom. I think it rushed me. It didn't even let me choose a character. So I guess I'm going to be Spring Man, which is the original character. Cool, let's do it. Facing Ninjara. See what I can do. All right, so I'm gonna hop in here. I'll press L and R to start. All right, I'm ready to fight, guys. Let's go. Okay, so you can jump, you can dash, you can do a bunch of stuff, and then to punch, of course, you're gonna be throwing some fists. Wow. Oh, you wanna dodge that? Now, the unique thing about this game is that while you're in the air, you're actually able to control your fist individually, and you can throw them different directions. So you can block like this. If the guy's throwing a punch at you, you can block yourself and make sure you're ready to go. Or you can advance on the guy and start getting more aggressive. So you can wait to counter punch, or you can just get in there and start throwing some bows. Alright, so both of my arms just got disabled because you punched them while I was punching, or I overused them, I threw too many punches. You have a grab function that you can do by throwing both fists forward at the same time. I'm going to see if I can grab and show you guys that. If not, I'm going to kind of try to win this fight, because like I said, I'm pretty bad at this game so far. But uh, I'm trying my best. It's a really fun game. I'm enjoying it so far. I just want to show you guys what it looks like with the motion control. Oops. Oh, he got me. That's twice now he's got me. Man, I don't even think I touched the guy already. This is brutal. Boom! Finally, I got a hit in. Okay, as you can see, I've got like a boost mode or a fury that's built up. You can see it's inside my name with the yellow fire, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna pop, 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 Oh, yes, he got stuck behind the car. No, I thought he was going to mess me right up there. Finally, I got my throw in. Boom! As you can see, the throw is one of the stronger moves. You're going to hit for 60 and then 150 if the throw doesn't get interrupted. You can only get interrupted, really, if you're like, oh, we're going to run out of time here. No, he got a throw in on me. If I get one more throw in on him, we might be even. No. i got to get some more punches in. No. Does he win because of time default? Yes, he does. Ah, I didn't take that match. That was brutal. But uh, we're going to jump into another match right after this one. So I lost that match. Ninjara beat me there. The guy from Japan. Boom. Oh, that was no good. Like I said, I'm still getting used to the controls. It's kind of tough. You got you to gotta move left. You got to move right. You got to get those punches in there. Oh, got to warm up. Got to get the shoulders moving. Oh, 
I'm gonna do some push-ups next time before I start playing this game so that you're ready to go. You gotta be uh, ready and fit for it. Yeah, yeah. Ha! Ha! All right. What is this, in target practice? Okay. So it's just giving me some things to do in between matches, it seems. Okay, I'm ready to fight. See what's going on here. All right, I'm fighting Luigi Kid. Apparently, he's got 29 matches in. 29 point count. I'm not sure exactly how the point count works. As you can see, I got a point for losing. Um, I was playing some games last night. When you win, you get three points for winning. So there's that going on too. So I don't know. It's weird. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see if I can master this guy. Okay, so this is like a target practice type game. So we're getting a cumulative points for knocking out targets, but also we can hit each other and get points for that too. This guy's beating me right. Oh, I got a level up. Nice. Come on, targets. Go side to side. And then we can get some targets. The game's been a lot of fun so far. I've really been enjoying it. Really sucked it up on our first match, though. So. Sorry, guys. I can told you I suck at it, but I got a couple good hits. And when you get the point, again, my video is going to show you how. Uh, Amazing, you can be at this game and show you how cool games are. That's what I like to show. Oh, come on. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. I'm only 140 behind. A lot more now. Damn. Shit. How did he grab me like that? That was bogus. I want to get this guy. Well, I got rocked at that too. So, as you can see, I really suck at this game. But, ugh. Just came out on Friday. I've only played it for a couple hours. Not even. A couple of times. I probably put an hour or two into the game now, but uh, like I said, I'm really enjoying it so far. It's a lot of fun. And as you can see, you can just jump in quickly and play some matches. What are we, like seven minutes into this video and I've explained the entire game and played two matches already? I mean, if you've got five, ten minutes to sit down and play and you just want to get in, get your adrenaline running, bop, 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 then you're good to go. It's a great game. All right. All right, what's going on here? Oh, we got a triple threat match going on here. So it's a it's a it's a three player free for all we got going on here. The cats are fighting beside me. Guys, stop it! Go away. Boom! Boom! Oh, I got nailed there. So the other guy is over there. So you just press the button on the Joy-Con here, and you can switch targets. There we go. Min Min's get punched. Grab a bunch of purple out there. Ooh, no. You've got healers in the corner. The other thing is that your purple vision's kind of blocked off if you're in the other direction, completely opposing the other player. If you're doing the triple threat type matches. Oh, both my arms are disabled. No! No! I just got fury punch. That wasn't good. Here we go. Minions get grabbed and thrown. A well executed grab will always kind of like change the fight in your favor. It's good. Oh, I'm so close with him that I want to knock her out here. No! I'm gonna get knocked out. No! Man, that's three. Three matches in a row I've lost. I suck. Alright, let's go to the lobby. I'm out of this match. Okay. So I showed you what sucking at this game looks like. Let's see if I can win a match for you guys here. Let's finish this video off. Good. Bah, 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 bah. I'm really enjoying this game. It's fun. But again, gotta fine tune the skills. I haven't played enough yet. Rush, that's what it's called, not Fury. I keep calling it Fury, it's called Rush Mode. Ooh, they're giving me pity. Let me start the match with my Rush Mode full. Oh, look at that. Dodge is punch running for a counter and miss still, but there we go. Got a grab in. Let's get up here and start rushing this guy in there. There we go. Alright, maybe I can actually win this match. Just to give me that pity uh, rush mode at the beginning as well. Oh, boom, got another grab in. Booyah. As you guys know, it's been a while since I've made some videos too, so uh, just get back into doing that again. It's been really, really busy. Have a baby as you guys know. Oh, boom! KO'd that guy! What's up now, bitch? 
took him out. As you can see, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. It's a rush, man. It's like... Bah, 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 bah. I love it. Alright. Let's see him. Have fun. Maybe I can win another match. Okay, I'm 1-3 in three now. What do we got going on here? Alright, those two are duking it out. What's going on? I'm going to fight Psychopath. Alright. Looks like Psychopaths only come in for one match. She's Ribbon Girl. So it's going to be Spring Man versus Ribbon Girl. Alright, let's do this. I'm having fun with these Joy-Cons. My pretty little uh, yellow neon Joy-Cons. Alright, let's go. I'm going to find myself there. Oh, she used to grab for a smart move. Ooh, boom, boom. Oh, what's up now? Come on, Ribbon Girl, what you got? What you got? What you got? Oh, nice grab. Nice grab. She got a grab. Saw that. Oh, boom. I am loving this. This is a lot of fun. Oh. No. Yes, I dodged her rush mode and then grabbed her. Boom! Now I'm gonna come in with my own rush mode. Oh, the tables have turned, Ribbon Girl. Another smart grab and you win. But no! Ah, I thought I had Ribbon Girl there. I did not. Ah, I was gonna win that match. What was up with that? What was up with that? Fuck. I got way too excited there. I got too into that. My heart rate's going on. I thought I was gonna have her. I gotta get way better at this game, man. I gotta get way better at it. It's okay, we got this. One more match, let's do this. All right, we got a tag team battle. This would be cool, I haven't showed you this one yet. You can change your, your gloves and stuff like that, but right now I'm just kinda trying to get used to the game mastering with the basic controls, so. Oh, boom, Ripping Girl, what's up? Go punch in the face. We meet again. Oh. This is fucking intense. Ah. Oh, no, that is in rush mode. Oh, how did she grab me from across the map? That was intense. Oh, I got some raptors from Oklahoma. Yeah. Why am I not hitting my mom? Wait, by the way, I totally messed with that rock. One of my arrows is disabled now, or about to be. Oh, my teammate's down. What, I'm fighting solo now? No! This isn't fair. It's two on one now. Of course I'm going to lose. No. How am I going to win this now? And they're both like half health. I'm done. I never stood a chance. If my partner's worse than I am. Brutal. What was that? Oh, man. Again, I just wanted to show this game to you guys. Clearly, I've got a lot of learning to do and i got a lot of practice to get in so I can get a lot better at this game. But uh, I'm just having some fun playing it so far. It's a lot of fun. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to get out of this lobby here. Okay, so I've showed you what the game is like playing with the Joy-Cons, right? Okay, so we're going to put those down, and what we're going to do is we're going to hop in there, and we're going to start using the uh, Pro Controller. There we go, so we're going to hop back in here, and... Oh, I guess we're going to have to close the game out and everything like that, so let's close the software, let's hop back in there, because I want to show you what it's like just kind of playing with this. So the controls are going to be a lot different if you're playing with the Pro Controller. Obviously with the motion control, you're going to have a little bit uh, of an enhanced control experience because you can control each fist individually. You can do whatever you want that way. So um, as you can see across the bottom, you can play in um, the uh, comfort grip mode. You can use the Pro Controller. You can use the uh, individual Joy-Con sideways controller. And you can use the handheld mode as well too. So uh, I've been playing it handheld while I'm uh, on my work mute and uh, I've also been playing it at home with the motion controls and uh, although they're very different and uh, the controls are limited when you're playing in handheld mode I'm still enjoying it so just wanted to show you what that's like and I'll show you what Grand Prix mode is let's just do a, a computer battle I'm gonna use let's use Kid Cobra he looks cool all right 
Uh, so you can you choose your difficulty. Um, I'm not that good at the game, so let's go like three for now. Okay. Wow. And like I said, I'm just gonna kind of pop in here and show you what this looks like. So this is the Grand Prix mode, so it's the 10 battles to the top. The ladder system that you've seen in any Mortal Kombat Street Fighter or the like game. Killer Instinct. All the same. Alright, here we go. I'm affiliated to the Nayak crew or the Najak crew, however you want to say that. I like snakeboarding. I'm not sure what snakeboarding is. Sounds cool. Alright, let's do this, guys. Boom. Match one. Fight. So this is going to be far less intense, obviously, because I'm going to be using the uh, Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. Just as a reminder. So in this, you're just going to use a basic, like, A-B punch combination. So you can still jump, do everything you did before. But instead of being able to use the motion control to punch, you're just going to be kind of... A and B punch combination, and then you just press A and B together if you want to get that grab. Oh, you knocked me off that platform. You're a big level before this is here. Oh, boom! Okay. Obviously, personally, I kind of like the motion controls better. As you can see, it's a, a more fun and more intense experience. You kind of get the full arms experience by using that. This is a much more subdued version of the game, but it's still fun. I mean, it's just a video game. Say I was trying to be quiet, I was sitting on my couch playing at night or something like that. I'd much rather play like this. If you're just trying to beat the game to unlock some stuff or whatever you want to do. Again, I don't think it, either mode is better or worse per se. I just think they're very different. It's hard to compare. Boom. Victory. Boom. I think the Grand Prix is the uh, best two out of three scenario, so I gotta beat him again. Before the match is over, yeah. Oh yeah, I like any basic fighting game, so I just switched up my left glove, as you'll see. So this one's got some sort of like spinny dash attack on it. It won't change your grab at all. Oh! There we go. As you can see, even in the tone of my voice, my energy levels have completely changed since playing with the uh, Pro Controller. Obviously the uh, energy levels aren't as high, but still enjoying it nonetheless. Ooh. Unleash the rush! Feel my rush rage! Cha -cha -cha. Come on, hit him, hit him! What the hell? Come on! Now he's gonna use his rush on me. It's gonna be a 1 1 battle. I'm gonna have to go into three matches. Ah, I just got KO'd! That was nothing like the first match. I pwned him in the first match, but I just got owned in the second match. So, oh, best two out of three. Okay, let's fight this deciding match. Maybe it's because I switched my glove. I'm gonna blame that. Let's go double Hydra. I don't know what that means, but it sounds cool. Oh, he starts with a rush mode. I've got the disadvantage in this fight. Boom, we'll start off with grab. Bust him off. No! Of course, he hits me with a rush mode because I have absolutely no defensive skills. When you're playing with the pro controller or you're playing with the handheld mode, you have to press in the left stick to guard and block. It's kind of weird. It's a weird choice. It should just be like left trigger or something like that. Or ZL, if you call it, I guess. ZL for y'all Merkins out there. Merka. Alright, here we go. Unleash the rush! Boom! That's a great way to finish the video. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to demonstrate a little bit of playing ARMS. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that good stuff. All at The Last of Devon. And you keep on watching because you remember you have not seen The Last of Devon. Peace!